The last few tutorials which I have uploaded are a little advanced. Nevertheless, today's tutorial will be dedicated only to beginners. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Once you are in Maya, create a cylinder. And set the value of Z and X axis to 0. Set the radius of the cylinder to 3 and increase the subdivision. Delete the top and bottom part of the cylinder. Right click on the object and select the face. Select the entire object and then press Ctrl to deselect the middle part. You can see the top and bottom part of the object remain selected. Now press delete then go back to object mode. The shape of the object can be made by scaling the edges. Perhaps it will not give a perfect shape to the model. Also it's time consuming. To give the perfect shape and to save time we are going to deform then lattice. The subdivisions within the lattice are not needed. So I will be decreasing the value from 5 to 2. Select the vertex mode of the lattice and select all the vertex on the top and scale them. The width will be white from the front view and on the left view, the width will be flattened. Now the object will look like this. The lattice is not required any further so now select the object and go to the edit and select the delete type by all history. Bring the object in edge mode and with the help of the scale, straighten the top two edges. We are not selecting the corner edges while straightening those two. Now select the entire edge and go to edit mesh and select bridge. By using multi cut tool we will correct the edge flow. Click on this point and click on this point as well. By doing so an edge will be created and press enter. Using the same process connect the edges which are opposite to each other except leaving the corner edges. By doing so it will be converted to a quad poly. A clean topology is created. Now I will go to face mode, select these faces and extrude. Click on this button and lift the handle. In the edge mode, double click on the edge, select the entire edge and double click on the bevel option. Set the valuation to 0.05 and the segment will be set to 2 and apply. Select the entire top edge and segment it to 2, the width will be 2 and apply. The top of the model looks somewhat like this. Double click on the bottom edge of the model, select the complete edge and then extrude and click on this button and pull the handle downwards. Select the scale and hold the point in the middle of the scale and scale it so that it will be scaled evenly from the all angles. Then bevel by selecting the entire top edge. Go to top view and press 4 to select wireframe mode and create a new cylinder. The radius will be 3 and subdivision 1. Select the entire edge and bring it downward a little. By using the multi cut tool create an edge like this. And now delete this edge. Now delete the below faces in the same process. Now delete these 4 faces. Go to the edge mode. Select those 2 edges and bridge them. Go to the mesh tool and click the insert edge loop box and select multiple edge loops and set the edge number to 1. By doing so, no matter wherever I click it will be create the edge in the center. Come to vertex mode and select the target weld tool and target the down vertex and merge it with the top vertex by dragging it upward. I must say this is a very helpful tool. Select the bottom edge to extrude and scale it inward. We'll bevel all these edges and by pressing 3 give it a smooth finish. Duplicate the object by pressing Ctrl D and rotate it 180. Few adjustment. And model is ready. To apply the texture to the model, we will have to create the UV map of the model first. 
also go to UV and click on the planner box. The planner project our UV. Remember the first step to making UV map is projection. Unwrap the model from the side so the planner will be applied from the front view. Select the model and click on the Z axis and apply. Then go to UV and go to UV editor. Put the object in edge mode and come to the side view and select the whole edge by double clicking on the middle edge and then cut. Right click on the model and select UV and select the whole model. Then go to modify and select unfold. Adjust this maps a little. I want the same texture on two sides. That's why I keeping the maps one on top of the other. You all can place them in your way. Be careful. The map must not go out of the box. If you want to make the texture using Photoshop, then you will require a PNG reference of the UV to make the exact texture. For this, we will go to image and then UV snapshot. Wherever you wish to keep the snapshot, select the location and give a name and select PNG and apply and close. I think before applying the texture, the light should be created. By doing this, we can see if the texture is being created properly or not. To create light, go to Arnold and create environment light. If you are not able to understand the light in this process, then you can go to Arnold and select lights from there. In the environment light, we will add the HDRI image, click on the color checker and select file and on clicking the file, select HDRI and open it. Open the Unrolled Render Viewer to render the perspective view. To apply texture, select this part of the model and go to Hypershade and click Arnold, then go to Shader and select AI Standard Surface. Or right click on the model and go to Assign New Material and then Arnold's AI Standard Surface. Go to Attribute Editor and select AI Standard Surface, click on the color checker to select the file and let's open the texture. Keep the roughness to 500. Select the two bottom lower parts and right click on them, assign new material, Arnold AI Standard Surface and go to preset, then go to the plastic and click replace. Now I will color it white and I go to surface I will color it white too. Set the roughness to 100 and it's done. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I truly appreciate your time. I hope it was helpful and if it did help, make sure to give us a like. Also don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. I will see you in my next one. Until then, bye.